All right, folks, Sim here, Kansas Angler. It's time. The October box is here. Let's take a look at what we got for the state of Kansas. Now, uh, the conditions that I set for monster bass is that I am a shore fisherman, uh, intermediate, intermediate skill level, um, and I enjoy a lot of finesse rigging. Um, so I'm not sure how all that changes the variability of the box. If you follow subscription numbers on monster boxes, this is box number 1094. 10 is the month. I'm not sure what the code is after that. I should ask him sometime, maybe Bug Rick or somebody about it. So let's take a look. You guys have seen the inside of these boxes all the time. Nothing different here. Uh, 1094 box. I'll let you pause on that if you want to take a look at it. You got some more Savage Gear. I like the Savage Gear from last month. Spro, uh, don't know them. Norman, Strike King, Daiichi, some Big Bite Baits, Cruncher Baits, and b and Bait Company. So, let's take a quick look what we got. We got a sticker. Everyone wants stickers, right? So up top we got the Spro. It's just the Rock Crawler MD55. Dies four to eight feet. Should be pretty good. Uh, people are raving about these Spro baits. I don't do a lot of hard baits, but I'm happy to get out there and give it a whirl. It does have a rattle inside of it. Four to eight feet should be perfectly fine. Two treble hooks. So that one should be pretty fine, or should be pretty fun to get out there and use. So I'll be looking forward to trying that one out. We got a Strike King Bleeding Bait Spinner Baits. Um, I haven't used a ton of spinner baits. The ones that I have used have been like the cheapo, you know, dollar things at Walmart kind of thing. So looking forward to trying out a quality spinner bait. So that'll be new for me too, a little bit. Um, Daiichi, I heard these were coming. I was looking forward to them. Um, these are the Daiichi. No, these are standout, not Daiichi. Um, standout bass drop shot boat hooks. So if you can see the image in the background there, you actually tie in. Let me pull one out. You tie in on the midway on the hook, not the eye loop, and then you'll feed the hook, the eye loop through the hook. So you'll tie up here, and then that additional um, tag in that you usually have that comes out for your weight, you'll run through the line here. And it's supposed to help this stand up a bit more, but we'll see. I usually don't have a problem with my drop shot hook standing up uh, correctly, but we'll give this a whirl. I do like a good drop shot hook and setup. So got some drop shot hooks. Hopefully we'll have something to use with them. Um, another Savage Gear. Uh, this time we've got the full size 3D. What is this? Bluegill as well? No, it's a red ear. Um, I haven't seen many red ear in this area of Kansas, but I don't think the bass are going to mind. I'm hoping this goes better than the bluegill bait from Live Target that was in last month's box. I was not too happy with that one. Um, this one is segmented, so three sections. Uh, so it should have a better swim action. It is much larger though. So we'll have to see if we're gonna get bigger bass with it or or what. Um, does have a tuning weight with it as well. So I'll have to see if I can find information on how to tune that if need be. What is this sucker? Uh, Norman gel coat. Uh, baits so one, two, three, four, five. So this is 11 to 17 foot. Look at the size of that spoon bill. And look at the size of that bill, period. Um, as a shore fisherman, I'm a little concerned about this one. 11 to 17 foot. Not all the ponds I go to uh, have a lot of water at that depth. Because it dives deeper, I'm going to have to go to a bigger lake. To use this and at a bigger lake you usually have uh, a little bit less luck if as far as being a shore angler it's harder to get to that deeper water so hopefully it'll cast further but that's the norman lures uh crankbait 11 to 17. the colors are pretty um, so hopefully that'll do us some good we'll see all right let's get into some plastics here we've got some big bite baits bite juice green pumpkin craw uh, that's always a good bait. Green pumpkin is always fine, or craw is always good. Green pumpkin is always a good color. Let's take a look at it. Flat bottom. It's got salted a little bit. Not much happening on the claws here, but it should give it. It's pretty light, so it should give it some nice action. So that'll be fun. Uh, a little bit larger, so we'll probably Texas rig that. Maybe Ned rig it. We'll see, but that should be good. Not too worried about those. What else we got next? 
We got cruncher baits. I've never heard of cruncher. Um, these are tube baits. It's like a brown color and a green color on the tails. Should be good. I do use smaller tubes in pan fishing and I've used a couple for them for bass as well. Um, so this will be fun. I'll have to think about how I want to rig these up if I want to um, drop shot them uh, or something else. I do like it when I compare things up so I'm expecting to so have drop shot hooks to get drop shot baits. Um, so hopefully we'll see uh, another something. And I think we will in this next one. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, v and M, uh, Cliff Pace, whoever that is. I don't follow pro bass fishing. I follow my bass fishing. Uh, <laughs> v and M drop shad, green pumpkin, purple copper, uh, made specifically for drop shot. Looks like. Let's take a look. That's a fun color. Look at that. So green pumpkin plastic, we've got copper and purple flake inside. Nice light tail, which should give it lots of action. Nice and bouncy. So that'll be fun to put on the drop shot rig for sure and bait that around. So that's what we got for the October Monster Bass box. Stay tuned, my videos coming up will be of me catching fish with each one of these baits, hopefully if all goes well this month. And at the end of the month, I will have a review up on what I think about these baits after I've actually used them for a while just so we can see what was great and what maybe hmm, was not worth it in the box. That's all I got for y'all today. Get outside. Get a pole in the water if you can. Just enjoy nature. It's gorgeous outside. Take care, my friends.